Today's video will be all about the butterfly's less than attractive cousin, the moth. Moths are believed to have a special connection to the moon, which makes them sensitive and very introspective. They teach us the importance of self-reflection. Just like the butterfly, the moth teaches us the importance of trusting the changes that come with transformation, with the understanding that it will bring us to the next level of our journey. They teach us that change is inevitable and necessary for our soul's growth. However, unlike its beautiful cousin, the moth is nocturnal and therefore deals with the challenges of life in the dark. And as a result, the moth teaches us the importance of following the light as our guide. Our intuition is our guide. It's our light. And based on my personal experience, our intuition will often give us guidance that may not make sense at the time. And although the moth is unable to see where the light is leading, still chooses to trust and follow the light anyway. In other words, it learns to trust its intuition. Now, on the flip side, the moth teaches us about the importance of discernment. Although it's drawn to the light, chasing every shiny object can result in getting burned. It's important to practice good judgment. The moth teaches us to acknowledge and learn to work with our dark side, our shadow self, as defined by the renowned psychologist Carl Jung. Our shadow self includes our aggressive impulses, shameful experiences, immoral urges, our fears, irrational wishes, and unacceptable sexual desires. Seeing the shadow within ourselves is extremely difficult, so it's rarely done. According to Jung, beneath our conscious light is a whole world of darkness containing those very aspects of ourselves that we've tried to ignore. He defines the ego as the tip of the iceberg floating above the sea, but the unconscious mind is the vast mountain of ice lurking beneath the surface. What we repress never stays repressed as it lives on in the unconscious. Jung believes that one does not become enlightened by imagining figures of light, but by making the darkness conscious. In doing so, we gain awareness of our unconscious impulses and can then choose whether and how to act on them. The key is to observe what's happening within us. And this can be done through meditation, or my personal favorite, which is to record myself verbalizing my internal thoughts and then paying attention to the results of my decisions, aka my karma. I have found that there's just something about hearing our own voice assess decisions we've made that there's power to that. And a moth's connection to the moon influences its energy of introspection and self-reflection. The moth teaches us about the nature of our subconscious mind. Just like a moth, our subconscious is most active at night while our physical body sleeps. Our dream state is a time when we are interacting with our higher self. It's a time that allows us to reconcile with our shadow side. 
And this is why it's important to pay attention to our dreams, as there may be messages to help us with our healing. The moth teaches us about the importance of the darkness. In other words, the light can't exist without the darkness. It represents the yin side of the yin-yang symbol in Taoism. In other words, it's a necessary part of the equation in order to achieve complete balance. And probably the most important lesson a moth has taught me is that earth tones are forever. Oh yeah. It's a classic that will never go out of style. A moth has taught me not to invest a lot of money on the latest trends. Instead, invest in the earth tones for your wardrobe as well as your home decor. You really can't go wrong. Earth tones are definitely a good investment. I've had this sweater for over 20 years and it's still going strong. Definitely money well spent. I have a quote I'd like to share with you. It's by Carl Jung himself. Until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. This is all I have for today. Thank you so much for spending time with me. And if you have any questions or there's a lesson that a moth has taught you that I haven't mentioned, I'd love to hear about it. Feel free to communicate with me through my personal email. I've listed it in the description below. Until next time, be safe and make sure to keep paying attention to your karma. It's our greatest teacher.